Hello everybody, welcome to episode 2 of my tutorial series, Diz Tutorials. Today, I'll be showing off my 1.16 plus concrete converter, which is no loss and runs at the maximum speed possible of 18,000 blocks converted every hour. Why my design is different is because I line the TNT the same every time, so each explosion will always be in the same spot. Due to this, there is a little extra redstone in my machine as compared to the others on YouTube, but it is definitely worth it for the extra efficiency. Now, let's get right into the tutorial. So to begin, you'll want a 2x3 platform about 15 blocks above the ground where you're going to be collecting the items. So to begin, we can build the zero ticking chamber. And then if you put a solid block here, it'll push it on the exact same tick. So that's how we get the maximum speed. So now we can come out five blocks, put five furnaces down. And in these furnaces, you're going to want 54 of any item because that will give the correct redstone signal strength to the comparators. So we can put them here. And then two blocks, come up one, and then on this next layer you can either have top slabs or glass. I'm going to use glass in this case. And then you'll need pistons facing up, pistons facing down, and then for your redstone, you're just making this entire platform all redstone dust. So now if a block comes next to it, it'll push down. Also, you need to put water here that will convert the concrete powder into concrete. And then you just need to punch a hole right here so the blocks can still pass through. So next what we'll do is we'll start making the other redstone. So the piston here will help it if the blocks end up ever getting stuck. And this will normally only happen because of lag, but we'll build it just in case because it can't hurt. And then when the machine is on, it'll push this with the stem, which will update this one, which is what we want. And then for this, we'll want a three wide platform going one block past this. Redstone plus here. Sticky piston facing up. Sticky piston facing this way and we'll want all four tick repeaters. And then we can fill this in. And again, we want to up keep this piston getting updated. So if we put the redstone dust right here, it will update. And we also want to put obsidian right here. So the blocks can't get pushed past the length of the machine. So for the TNT duplicator, we can punch these blocks out, or you can put glazed terracotta over these first two. I'm just gonna leave the blocks out. You need a sticky piston. Slime like this. Use a dead coral fan here. That's the only th block you can put there for it to work. Minecart on a detector rail. The cobblestone wall there. TNT here. Put the fence gate facing this way so the cobblestone wall is attached to it. Open it, put another fence gate below it. And then to align it, we will need blocks here and blocks there. And then just to make sure it works, make sure both fence gates are open so the TNT falls through and doesn't break your machine. Power it, and now the TNT duper is working. And two little things before we move on to the next step. You wanna put a glazed terracotta here so the slime doesn't pull it back and you want to put a piston here so it updates this block when the power from above. So now moving on, we'll need to power this fence gate and we need a 34 tick delay from the top so we can do seven repeaters at four ticks. So now that's 34. 
32, 33, 34. And then we just need to hook this back up to the top, like so. Place the redstone down below. And now the timing is done. So I forgot from before, but you need to place a block right here. And then the clock is finished. So if we turn the machine on, right now there's no blocks in it, but the TNT will fall down. And then this opens it at the right time and it'll explode in midair. So one last thing to note, if you are using blocks with a low blast resistance, such as stone or dirt to build this farm, the blocks right here, I, you need to have a blast resistance of six or more or they will get exploded. So you can either use end stone or iron blocks or cobblestone or whatever. But in my testing, if you use blocks that are less blast resistant than that, then these blocks can get exploded and then the TNT will stay here and explode your machine, which you don't want. Okay, so now moving on to the collection system. So if you see the blocks here will come down out of the machine and why you want to build the water, I said 15 blocks allow is just to give it space to funnel it into your collection system. So you can either have a hopper and chest below this or you can just have this be an open hole and have a water stream going somewhere else. So for the water, you want to build the corners up, one higher than the rest, place water in, and make sure not to put source blocks under these three. And then you can just go around and fill in the entire thing, and then the water will funnel all into the middle. Like so. So to use the farm, all you need to do is come up to the platform that you started on right here, flip the lever, aim at the redstone torch, and hold down your right mouse button. Now for the last part of the farm, you don't technically have to do this, but I recommend doing it if you're going to be converting a large amount of concrete. So you want to place a dropper straight over your head. You want an observer here, looking at this redstone dust, solid block, a top slab, a piece of redstone dust, and then because we're doing 18,000 blocks an hour and hoppers can only do 9,000, we'll need two hoppers going into the dispenser. And then if you want to add more storage, you can just keep going up like this. And then the chest will empty to you at the same speed you put the blocks in. The material list for this farm will be down in the description. So if you want to know how to build this in your world, just make sure to check that out. So that's all you need to build this machine up in your own world. I highly recommend it if you're converting concrete. Even in not so large amounts, this is much better than mining it by hand. And over time, it will make up for the time you spent building it. Thank you guys so much for watching my tutorial video on my 1.16 plus concrete converter. And a like and sub would be greatly appreciated. And that's all. Have a nice day. Goodbye.